Hey, we're going to talk with Cassie right now. We're trying to get some rain coming our way. I know, and man, yesterday we had some really good rains, and I know we've got video from that. We had our storm trackers out and about. We had Val and Amy Castor. We had Tom Pastrano. We had Marty Logan. We had Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9, and there you go. There was a lightning strike. That was around Putnam. I know Marty Logan shot that, and the wind was so strong at times. You can see the roof on that little uh, garage port there trying to come off. It stayed on. It didn't last forever. The wind eventually started to die down a little bit, but man, some of these storms really produced some downbursts. You can see that shot uh, from a distance, some very heavy rain, but everything was very isolated. Now we can go to Lynx 2 and kind of show you where the rain fell. Now, most of it in eastern Oklahoma, but we had 0.56 in Kingfisher, 1.05 out in Putnam. We didn't officially get anything here in Oklahoma City, but we still have a chance of doing that today. And because we didn't get the rain, we actually made it to 100 degrees again yesterday afternoon. Now, next July does have some rain and storms across eastern Oklahoma this morning, and a lot of that is just kind of slowly drifting to the south. A couple of lightning strikes here and there around Wetumpka, but here in central Oklahoma, a couple of showers around one net, a couple of showers just west of Marlow, not doing anything right now, no lightning strikes, and temperatures only in the low 70s where it is currently raining, but the rest of us seeing some low to mid 80s. This is our American Fidelity camera, part of our Pike Pass Sky Kim Network. More of a mostly cloudy sky right now. That is keeping temperatures a little bit lower this morning. Starting out at 80 degrees with the west-southwest wind coming in at 7 miles an hour. We still have this stationary boundary just to the northwest. So out ahead of it, we have that southwest wind between about 5 to 15. Well, this boundary is just going to kind of hang around the state as we go throughout the afternoon, keeping that chance of rain and storms in the forecast for this afternoon and into this evening. Now, eventually, it's going to just kind of wash away and chances kind of go away with it. But later this afternoon, most of the storm chances will be in western Oklahoma. But I think by early evening, that's when Oklahoma City at least has a better shot of seeing some rain and storms. Right now, still just a slight chance. But later today, if we do get any rain at all, I think that will probably happen after about five or six o'clock. So after today, the rain chances, they go away. It's just going to be hot the rest of the week and into the weekend. But here's some good news. As we get into about midweek of next week, eventually it looks like a stronger storm system is going to be impacting the eastern half of the United States. And that's going to help to push the area of high pressure out to the west. So eventually, I think, yes, the cooler air will still be well off to the east. But we start to see a little bit of a breakdown from the heat dome over Oklahoma and temperatures start to go down a little bit. But today, I still think we make it to about 97 degrees. Temperatures in the uh, well, around 100 down to the south. But for this afternoon, just a slight chance of an isolated shower storm in central Oklahoma. But the higher chances later this afternoon will actually be in western Oklahoma. And then for this evening, everyone has at least a slight chance of seeing some isolated showers and storms. But again, I think the chance goes up to about 30 percent after about five or six o'clock, at least in Oklahoma County. Temperatures drop down into the upper 60s and low 70s overnight tonight. And then tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny. And this time with the northeast wind between 10 to 20 highs, make it into the mid 90s, 93 degrees in Stillwater, 91 in Tulsa, and a couple of spots showing upper 80s across the far east. As far as rain is concerned for tomorrow, I think any chance we do get will basically be in southern Oklahoma and it will still be just a slight chance. But by Thursday, still mid 90s, we're still going to have more of an east to northeast wind between 10 to 20 miles an hour. And then after that, we start to warm things back up. We still see temperatures over 100 by next week, but eventually the front moves through and we'll get a chance of rain and a north wind. Guys, back to you.